Hello and welcome to KnowledgeBank.pro. We have a short video for you today titled How to switch your Power BI table to a different data source type. So let's imagine the following scenario. You've decided to tackle an interesting use case. You've collected all the data in Excel. You built your Power BI model. You built some reports. You shared your insight with your CFO. He got super excited. Your model uh, was recognized to be awesome and now everybody wants to use it but there's only one problem it's not very easy to manage being sourced from excel and then the it decided to take some of that data and move it into a database uh, let's say sql server oracle whatever you might have and now uh, you have a daunting task you have to take your existing model that's currently sourcing everything from excel on your hard drive and you got to figure out how to switch everything over to to a sql server database so you're probably are getting nervous right now because you don't know the database very well and you also realize that you may have to redo everything, rebuild all the calculations, recreate all the relationships. So this video is to put you at ease and show you how you can easily move your tables from one data source to another without having to break your existing model. So we have a really, really simple tiny model here where we just have our sales three months of sales, we have a date and sales, and we also have some relationships. So here we have a connection, a relationship between our sales table and the date table. Uh, this table currently is sourced out of Excel. Uh, IT has created a SQL Server table for me, and they want me to use that table now. And now I have to figure out how to move from Excel to SQL Server. So let's take a look at what I have going on in the Power Query side. So here I have my table, and you can see that I'm connecting to a, a spreadsheet. I pick the, um, the, um, the sheet in which my data is located. Then I promote the headers, and I end up with a table that looks like this. So what's important for me is to know what my columns are and their data types. So in this case, I have a column with dates and a column with integer values. As you probably already know, you can click on the gearbox for the source and pick a different file. So as long as I am constrained to the same data type for my data, so as long as I pick a different Excel type, then changing from one file to another is easy. I just have to click on a gearbox. They'll give me a prompt to pick a different file so I can navigate um, to a different worksheet either on my hard drive or in my network. Pick that and then uh, everything will just work. No relationships will be broken. If I had created any measures on my table, those will remain as well. So th th that's a really easy way to move from one document to another document, provided we stay with the same data source type. However, moving from Excel to SQL Server or any other database is a breaking change. It's not, it's not possible to click on a gearbox and now select a different data source type. I can only make changes within the same data source type. Similarly, if I already have a table in SQL Server and now I have to pick another table in SQL Server, yes, I can just click on a gearbox and pick a different table. But if I have to switch from SQL Server to Oracle or to an SAP BW or some different type of a database, then that's, that's a breaking change and clicking on a gearbox is not going to help me with that. So now I'm going to walk you through the steps necessary to move your table to a different source without breaking your model. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go ahead and pull in the data that you're going to be working with. So if I have a new table called sales in SQL Server, I'm going to pull it in while keeping my old table intact. So now we're back and I've just pulled my data from SQL Server. You see that I only have two steps. I connect to my SQL Server and navigate to the table of interest. And my table looks very similar. I have a column for dates and I have another column, but now this column is not formatted as integers, it's formatted as, um, as a column that supports decimal values. So the first thing that I want to do is make sure that you, if you want to keep that formatting, you can. Uh, if you want to change it to the old formatting, you can also. So you could just change it to whole number if you want, or you could keep it as decimal. So as long as the column names are the same, this will not be a breaking change. The next thing that we want to do is before we forget, we want to right click on our new table and click on enable load. So this table, we will never be loading into our model. We just need to bring it in so that we can record 
all of the steps necessary to pull that data in. And if you don't, uh, if you remember, the steps are reflected in the query settings box in applied steps. So right here, all of the steps necessary to massage our table to look the way we want it to look are done here. If your new table looks different, so for example, your original Excel had two columns and the new table has three columns, that's okay, you can bring those in. Uh, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the columns that are matching, so the same columns that were in the old table, you wanna make sure that they have the same name. And this way, so that's really the only, you, you, you even don't have to do that, but it, it would be a good idea to keep the column names so that if you had created any measures based on those column names, those measures are not going to break. So I'm just trying to, to help you do this in a such a way as that will create the least amount of problems. So the closer you make this table look like the original table, the better. And now the hard part, really the only part that matters. The way you're going to make that move is you're going to click on view and here you will find advanced editor button so you click on that and that'll bring up the code that power bi executes to paint uh, that new table for you so we're we're going to do this for the new table and we're going to grab all of this uh, if you're not a developer that's okay you don't need to understand what's happening you just need to remember that all of the steps uh, are the steps necessary to create that table in Power BI. And we're just gonna copy that code, Control C, cancel, go back into our original table, go to advanced editor, and just replace this code with the new code and hit OK. And now you see that our sales table looks identical as our sales from SQL Server table. And now I could just hit close and apply, let it do its thing, and uh, everything should be as it was before. So here we can see that our report still works. And if I go to relationships, we see that the relationship is intact. So nothing's changed. If I had created any measures, either on a table itself or somewhere else that referenced this table, these measures would still work. So let's summarize. If you have to move from one data source type to another, you're not able to do this by clicking on the gearbox in transform data power query dialog. It's a breaking change. And unless you do some trickery, um, you will break your model. Luckily, there is an easy way to do this that will not be breaking your model. And the steps are you pull in the table. That should be the replacement. You don't load into the model because if you load it into the model, then you will have to change all of your measures, calculations, and all of your relationships. Even if you pull it in, it renames the old table and names the new table by the name of the old table, it will still break everything. So do not do that. So pull the, old, the new table in, disable load, go into the advanced query editor, highlight all the code, control C, go back into the old table, repeat the same steps, go into the advanced query uh, editor, paste the new code, hit OK, and just hit refresh, and everything will work just fine. So as you can see, moving table from one data source to another doesn't have to be stressful. And in fact, you could do it fairly quick, even if you have to move uh, a, bunch of new, uh, a bunch of tables. So don't stress out. Hope you found this video interesting and informative. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you back here pretty soon. Thanks. Bye.